Okay, so this will be the comparison of orange flavored energy drinks. I'm going to start with Mio. It might turn out to be the favorite of this comparison because I just like the content. It's got good energy content, which you'll see in the chart at the end of the video and on the website. So I'm going to mix it first because it's the easiest to mix. And, we're going to, and again, we're going to make these warm beverages for the winter time. I already rinsed out the glass so we're ready to go. Put it a little bit in. Give it one full squirt. I've already had a couple squirts off this bottle already, so I hope it still puts out the right volume of flavor. Slightly frothy. Looks like it's mixing rather well though. No film at the lip. I think this is good to go. Let's see what it tastes like. It's a good orange flavor, fairly realistic. Good, got some good sweetness to it, and still it's fruity, so it's a good fruitiness to sweetness balance. With one squeeze, it had plenty of flavor. It's not weak or anything like that. There's not so much color that you can't see through the bottle. Yeah, through my hand now you can see my hand. So now I'll have to come back and report on what the energy effects are like. So that was a very successful taste with Mio. I like that Mio doesn't have aspartame in it. It's sweetened by sucralose. And it's got a good variety of energy contents to it. It's got taurine, of course, granola extract, ginseng extract, B vitamins, along with some caffeine. And so I'd say that's a pretty satisfying product. And it's got a pretty good lift to it, too. So who do we want to do next? How about Crystal Light? Energy orange. Sounds like a good morning glass of orange juice with a little kick to it. Bottle's already been rinsed out, so let's go ahead and fill it up a little bit. This is one of those ones where when you go to rip the top off, it doesn't come all the way across. It has a little nub there. Where if it was down lower, you see where it would, you see where it go across the whole width of the pack. This one only goes partially across, and then you get a, a jam of powder up in the corner there, which I don't like. So that's why I always cut these open, and it pours right in without any hassle. I don't know why they do it any other way, but sometimes they do. Some brands just do that. This is an interesting color. Wow, if I didn't know better, I think I just put a lemonade in there. Okay, a yellow green orange. I guess maybe it's not quite ripe, I don't know. It frosts up fast and the bubbles break fast. It's not leaving a film on the glass where the lip is. See what it tastes like. Wow, that's actually a very, it's a very realistic orange taste. Tastes like navel orange. 
And I like that they didn't put a whole bunch of coloring into it because I'm not a big fan of artificial coloring. But this is pretty good. And this is just caffeine in it. So I'm pretty sure this doesn't have aspartame. Nope, it has citric acid, maltodextrin, aspartame as the third ingredient, then sugar, then caffeine. Gives you an idea there. So it does have aspartame, but it doesn't have as much as many of these other beverages have, which is, I guess, a step in the right direction. If not a step to the destination. Okay, so that was pretty good. Not quite as much of a lift as I got from the Mio, but it was a good combination effect. It's not just all caffeine like the Crystal Light was. It has the Buonara seed extract and ginseng, but only trace amounts of that and also small amounts of the B vitamins. So they could have had it be a little bit more potent, but then it would be hard to cover up the chemical taste with, with flavoring. And it's a nice light lift to get you going in the morning. Not a heavy duty lift for like a workout or a, a bike ride. But pretty good for its flavor. So what next? Well, we can try the Pure Kick, which is the energy drink that they have at the Dollar General store. I've got two flavors of this. I'm going to try this one first because this is more like a citrus flavor, not specifically orange. So I'm hoping that the citrus flavor will be good enough to be acceptable for this test. So let's try it out. This is kind of like this crystal light product also it's not too heavy in coloring frost it just a little bit i don't know if you can see that this does have aspartame so it is a little waxy along the lip of the top bead of water there but it doesn't take a lot to get that stirred in So now let's see what it tastes like. It's fruity and sweet. It's got a slight chemical taste to it. While it is a citrus punch flavor, it's predominantly sort of a navel orange kind of flavor, so it does kind of fit the test. So I like the citrus with the navel orange flavor it was more like that than like a random punch flavor as has aspartame it's the third ingredient in it but the aspartame amount is less than the amount of the natural flavor so it's got to be pretty small i can feel it in my mouth already making a syrupy film though okay now here's the actual orange flavor they call it blood orange I never really know what a blood orange is supposed to taste like. And now the flavor that actually says orange is a blood orange from Pure Kick. Let's try that one out. The bottle's all ready to go. Mix it in a little bit, fill it all the rest of the way, see what it looks like. See, pure kick always frosts up. So you can see it frost up. It's kind of a thick color, you can't really see through the color. But it's doesn't look too greasy along the lip edge though. Get a little extra strain and give it a taste. Mm. Yeah, that's a thick color. It's sort of an awful color of what sort of sort of like a reddish orange, a ruddy orange tint. 
which seems appropriate for the flavor. Okay, that does taste more like orange than the citrus does. Almost like a like a, a tart orange. Maybe a hint of mandarin. Something kind of exotic about the orange flavor in it. Certainly not like orange juice. And not like a candy orange. It's enough flavor to hide the chemicals inside though because again it's got the full B vitamins and guanara extract and ginseng. So that I should be tasting that I'm not tasting right now, so it's a good job covering that flavor. But Pure Kick gives you a better lift than just a caffeine drink like Crystal Light. Some people may not like the extra ingredients though. But I think that's a good flavor. I like that flavor. I like both flavors actually though for different reasons. So let's go with the Soda Pop flavor now. This is sun-kissed orange. I was surprised it had caffeine in it, and it's an important orange flavoring, so let's see how this competes. orange coloring on that. Almost like the color of like a reflective tape or something. Mixes really fast. I like that. Filming up a tiny bit. Let's see what it tastes like. Like the pop it's based on it's very sweet. A very pleasing orange flavor as well. Kind of like a navel orange. I think I can make out the caffeine as an aftertaste, but there's plenty of flavor to cover it. A little dose of caffeine with your orange drink. It's pretty nice. That provided a good lift, a good cup and a half of coffee kind of lift, I would say. So with the caffeine lift and the sweet orange flavor, it's a pretty good, strong competitor in this comparison. One of them is a little different from the other, so I'm going to do that right now. This is a Gatorade, zero calorie. It's not really an energy drink, but it's got electrolytes, and sometimes you know, electrolytes will give you a lift, especially if you're deficient in minerals. But the other thing that's good about a drink like this is you can't just drink energy drinks all day. This gives you something to alternate with and give you something a little different to drink during the day after you've already obtained your energy quotient. I like the color. The realistic color. Let's see what the flavor is like. I'm expecting it to be kind of weak in flavor. Looks like it's got a very powerful dye. It's pretty much done frothing up, so I guess I can taste it now. That's an interesting flavor. It's kind of a mild flavor. There's an aftertaste to it of the other ingredients. Also, it has a head of foam on top. It's kind of interfering with the flavor. Maybe I should let that settle before I pass, 
keep judgment on the taste of it. It's got a lot of flavor, but the flavor is kind of like tang. It's not a sugary or a fruity flavor. It's, it's that sort of weird raw citrus tang flavor, which is good. I can drink that. And like I said, it gives you something to drink all day other than just energy drinks. And a lot of people are mineral deficient. Yeah, as it sells, the flavor is a little better, so I'm going to say I, I'm judging this at a little bit of a disadvantage. To really get the flavor, you got to let that settle back in. I like it so far, and I'm saving the best one for last. So the Gatorade worked out surprisingly well, even though it didn't really give me an energy boost. It's a good drink. It has a better flavor than the actual Gatorade that comes in the bottles. Although the flavor is not a very realistic one. So now, last but not least, found this at Walmart. 4C Energy Drink and Citrus. So let's start the bottle out. This, this is another one with the weird tear off on it. I want to point that out really quick. It doesn't go all the way across, it kind of has an extra little nub here. They think they're making you funnel the powder through this little edge here, which is kind of pointless, really. I'm just going to cut the top off. Can you hear that? It's fizzing. Yeah, look at that go. It's loud. And I think it's done. The color, but you can still kind of see through it. I like this because it doesn't have aspartame. And it doesn't have caffeine. So let's see what it tastes like. Well, the flavor is a little bit odd. It does have a legitimate navel orange flavor to it, but it's not a very sweet orange. I guess it's more fruity than sweet, but it's not very fruity either. That may be because the flavor is being interfered with by the ingredients in it, ginseng and taurine and the B vitamins especially. This is my only energy drink for the day today, so I get to really get a good idea of how well the boost is on this. I think it's going to be a good full, full body boost without that jittery caffeine effect. The flavor is still a little on the chalky side. That's the feel I get from it. But because it doesn't have aspartame, I don't have an oily coating feeling either, so it's a good trade-off so far. The comparison. Despite the crazy flavor, I like the 4C Energy Boost best, but for overall flavor and boost, I would recommend the, the Mio Squirt Bottle. And for the best value for your dollar, the Pure Kick. Here's a chart that you can use to compare them. This might be obscured by some of the things that are overlaid by YouTube, so go to the website following the link below and go see the chart and the rest of this article.